What's up folks? I'm at Pandan today but I am not doing a typical uh, fishing session. Uh, what I'm actually going to do today is I brought my little bucket and yes that means I'm intending to uh, catch something to bring home. Uh, what I'm hoping to get is a medium size uh, zebra tilapia for my six foot aquarium the ones that uh, how that used to house the PBs yeah I mean I figured my, the issue with the PBs the reason why I had to return them is because they got well I had three and they got too big for the tank I mean I was feeding them pretty much as much as I could and they were growing really quickly you know fattening up getting a bit longer and just got a bit too big and boisterous for my six feet tank I did consider uh, maybe only uh, re uh, releasing one or maybe two of them and keeping one or two in the tank but then I realized you know what just release all of them and replace them with something else you know time for a change uh, so yeah so I got the Sabaraos and um, I got the Oscar and now I want to get a, a zebra so I'm at Pandan uh, my wife's uh, Mrs. BCS she's going to the toilet but we're gonna actually go to the canal side and that's that's where I've been catching all the zebras lately so um, yeah hopefully I am actually able to get zebras I mean knowing how these things work you know when you don't have the intention of actually catching anything you go there and you catch so many fish and then when you actually want to catch a specific fish you don't get any that's kind of how the world works so I'm just hoping that I'm able to get a decent sized one you know, I can't get it too small. It's got to be maybe at least six to eight inches. So hopefully I get a nice looking one that's the appropriate size. And I'll catch you guys uh, when I get there. Or oh, I'm not even sure if I brought my GoPro today. I think I did. But yeah, catch you guys when I'm there. Maybe I'll change to the crappy Max Twin Tail. It's got that neon green on it, so that might kind of help things along.
when you want to catch a fish all the shit starts happening Yes! There we go. Now this size, let me see if I can get one more. Alright folks, slight change of plans. At that size, I could probably fit two in my tank. So that's what I'm going to go after. Try to get one more in that size. From the last few sessions here, I'm pretty sure most of them are around that size anyway. So that's a good thing. Oh, damn! Missed one. That's a better one. Oh, 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 oh. What is that? Is that. Oh, man, that's a PB. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, man. When you're out planning to catch orpics, you get a decent sized PB. PB Decent size one Well It's a pleasant surprise Catching a PB is always a bonus oh, It's a really nice size one Yeah, so just as a gauge, that's about how big the PBs in the tank got which is why, quite obviously, I had to release them Oh, oh, calm down Yeah, look at that guys, it's a nice one Well, that was a pleasant surprise PB. Looks like it's spawning, so there might be one more there. Yeah. 
I can't choose who bites my leo, man. Oh, oh wow, oh wow. I, um, that was just when I was gonna lift the rod out of the water. PB again. Hey. Tempting, tempting, tempting. Quick decide. As in like tank or what? Yeah tank. Ah. Yeah. This is small enough. I think I'll be able to get at least six months out of this guy before he gets too big or maybe more. Yes! Okay, calm down, calm down. So the key thing here when you are tapawing fish from anywhere is you gotta take really good care of them. And what I like to do is right before I leave, firstly don't stay too long. You know, you, no, it's okay. You want to minimize the amount of time the fish spend in this bucket. And secondly, just before you leave, give them a fresh bucket of water. Alright folks, we're done. Mission accomplished. We got two um, decent sized uh, zebra tilapias. One is about six and a half inches, the other one is about an inch bigger. Uh, we'll, we'll know for sure when I get home. So anyway, uh, the two of them are down here. Yeah, they're doing fine. I've been checking on them every uh, three to four minutes. And well, my home isn't too far away. So uh, once we get back, we're going to acclimatize them to the tank and then we're going to put them in. Alright folks, um, the fishes have been acclimatized and uh, basically, just take a look there. So what I've done to acclimatize them is, it's pretty simple. You just empty half the water that was originally in the thing, fill it with half the water that's from the tank and you let it sit for a while, you repeat the process again. It just allows the fishes to kind of get used to whatever water conditions are currently in the tank so they don't, they don't get shocked. Now, pH shock and all that is kind of overrated, but well, you can never be too careful. So um, I'm going to hand off the camera to Mrs. BCSG and we're going to put the fish in. Mission accomplished and uh, yeah, maybe I'll take some footage for updates and all that as we go along and let them get settled.